What's up, guys? Just a quick video showcasing how you can set up lots of domains super quickly for cold email using the pork bun, for domains using the Outlook for inboxes, and essentially the Magnet.com to make all of the automations. So diving into this stuff, this is the automation itself. It's kind of simple, like we are iterating over the document that contains all the domains, all the, you know, uh, stuff that we need to do. So essentially we have like domain, we have the check mark if this used or not. It will determine if the automation will be executed for this domain or not. We have the basics, which means like the all kinds of MX, CNAME and TXT records, the, the key, select for one and select for two, connected to Outlook, just for all of them lineants, the users created, as we want to create the CSVVs users to simply, you know, upload them to the Outlook and automatically create all needed inboxes. And then the custom tracking for smart fleet and the URL forwarding. So essentially I have the domain, it's absolutely empty. So this one, there is no records at all. The first thing you need to do to be able to execute the automation, you want to first thing to enable the API access for your domains. You can do it like just by clicking the details for your certain domain and just toggling the API access. Or if you have like lots of domains, you can just select all of them, bulk actions, general bulk options, and then API access on. And then the like pork bound like in five, 10 minutes will notify you by email that all of your inboxes like good to go in terms of the API access. This is the first thing. And the second one is the, in your account, in the API access, you want to create an API key. You will have the API key and the secret key. And essentially in the automation, you want to input those API key, secret API key in this step. You'll have two variables for that. And also you want to input there your main website link for the URL forwarding. Well, so essentially we are iterating over our domain step, like all of those uh, domains checking if they are used or not, as we will be executing the automation only for those that are not used yet. So this is like the first filter use it equals false. And then you have a bar, it should different roles. The first row like set MX, set CNAME, set TXT. It will be executed only if the basic is false. But then you have the forwarding, forwarding. The first thing we are essentially getting the current forwarding. If the current forwarding is like present, then we will not execute this one. But if we have no forwarding, meaning that our domain like simply URL forwarding not set, we will set the forwarding to our domain that we set it in the, the set multiple rails module. And then we usually update just the update row. So we uh, keep tracking of all of the things we already done. Uh, after that, set the key selector one. So I set the key selector two. Just do not forget to just change your domains to yours. Because like in my case, it uses Visualytics agency on Microsoft.com, but in your case, it may be like a different one. It is for sure a different one. So just don't forget to change those. Um, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, custom tracking. I just set the custom tracking so you can easily then enable the custom tracking smart lead as it boosts your deliverability. And then the last step, usually we just create in the document to easy users. And this will have the username, first name, last name, display name, job title. We will simply export this information and then simply upload to the Outlook. So we will automatically create all needed users. So that's how it works. So essentially let's try this one. So yes, be cool. So at this point we have the basics, the key users created, custom record URL forwarded. So we have users. Let's check the uh, everything in port one. So we have all, I guess all of them. In details, we have the URL configured, URL forwarding configured, so that's cool. At this point we can go to the domains and add the domain to Outlook. We essentially need to add only one record manual. That's the initial TXT record. Well, let's copy this one. Initially need to only add the TXT record that assigns the domain to the Outlook. Yeah, add the TXT record to the domain. And then also to enable the DK, like we already have them, but Microsoft just requires us to submit it. So add the MS, TXT, the, the symbol. So simply go to the DNS. TXT host MS 360. So we're good. Verify. Honestly, we don't need to do this one also manually. If you are doing like really lots of the call the email setups for clients and stuff, essentially this is can be automated by creating the custom application inside of each of your admin accounts in Outlook. It will make the API possible to connect the all the needed domains to the Outlook without need to do any manual stuff as well as enable the key, create users. Like all of this can be automated. The only drawback is that it requires lots of time and I don't really want to make a huge 20 like 40 minutes video explaining how to do this. But if you're interested, just let me know. So we are cool here. Let's go to the, the Kim section. 
refresh. Okay, in this one, there is really huge probability that we will need to wait some time until those records can be identified. Well, no, that's cool. So we are done with the setup of the domains and the DNS. So at this point, everything we need to do is to go to the our users file. We should adjust. Now load this one. Go to the domains, our users, active users, add multiple users. I would like to upload the CSV. I'll just let's go upload the CSV. So let's go. It will create two users, but you can let go like harvest one of them if you want to have so many yeah, users. At this point, we will need only to add the profile pictures for obvious reasons and then connect to the smart lead to enable the warming up and also set the final steps for the custom track. So at this point, we have those users created in the Outlook and I just simply can go to the smart lead and just go to the add accounts the email provided outlook and simply follow those steps to add them i will leave a link to this animation in the description so we can just go and download this one and use for your own good so no worries and have a nice one